What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy, EJ All Day. And welcome to Crypt Talk, the show where I talk about my current and potential passive income opportunities, crypto space, coins, all that good shit. I wanted to talk about BitConnect potentially exit scamming, or is it really a DDoS attack? But before that, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please click that button below. Slap that button in the face. Subscribe button. I don't want y'all missing out on my updates. Um, basically, every month, this is going to get more lit because I'm going to be making more and more money every month this year. So this is definitely the time to subscribe to my channel because shit's getting lit this year. Period. Like, this is the year. This is my time. I'm about to be a fucking millionaire. Um, if not, fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm ending the year with six figures. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cracking six figures this year, at least. It's my year, baby. It's time. So, uh, hit that notification button, like, all that good stuff. But anyway, while you click this, Big Connect still down. People are asking me, what's my opinion? Is BitConnect exit scamming? Is it, is this, is this it for BitConnect? What do I think? Now, I can't, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, at this point, I don't know. Because I've been seeing companies go down left and right ever since I got into this lending space. So, could this be it for BitConnect? Maybe. But I did see a uh, different YouTuber say that. Uh, sometime last year, BitConnect did go down for four days, so uh, this has happened before. And uh, according to their Twitter, let's ha hop over to their Twitter. They are saying that, uh, you know, website is under a DDoS attack and we are monitoring it. We request not to do a valuable transaction until the incident has been completely resolved. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Even going back to the 13th, oh, yesterday, we've been on a continuous DDoS attack that inevitably affects our service. We're mitigating as fast as we can, make up, take up 24 hours. We will update you once it's under control. Developing our servers, server issues. And then 10 hours ago, we're still under DDoS attack. Thank you for your patience. We're still working on it. Big connect. Let's see, are people feeling it? Oh, that's not even mine. Yeah, that's not even my motherfucking wrong one. Whatever, I'm not doing that now. But uh, I'm sure a lot of people are freaking out. I know people are freaking out left or right. Um, but for those of you who don't know what a DDoS attack, I hopped over to this site. And um, I found a little video pretty dope on it. Um, not, well, it explains it pretty well. So. You run a successful business through your e-commerce platform. Sales are at an all-time high, costs are going down, and all your projection charts are moving up and to the right. One morning, you wake up and log into your site's analytics platform to check on current sales and see that nothing is sold recently. You type in your URL only to find that it is unable to load. Unfortunately, your popularity may have made you a target of a DDoS or distributed denial of service attack, a malicious attempt to disrupt the normal functioning of your service. There are people out there with extensive computer knowledge whose intentions are to breach or bypass internet security. They want nothing more than to disrupt the normal transactions of businesses like yours. They do this by infecting computers and other electronic hardware with malicious software or malware. Each infected device is called a bot. Each one of these infected bots works together with other bots in order to create a disruptive network called a botnet. Botnets are created for a lot of different reasons, but they all have the same objective. Taking web resources like your website offline in order to deny your customers access. Luckily, with Cloudflare, DDoS attacks can be mitigated, and your site can stay online no matter the size, duration, and complexity Another plug in their company. When DDoS attacks are aimed at your internet property, instead of your server to break it down first with and malicious traffic, offer their service. stands in between you and any attack traffic like a buffer. Instead of allowing the attack to overwhelm your website, we filter and distribute the attack traffic so, across our global network of data centers using our mini network. 
basically they break down what the DDoS attack is distributed denial of service attack malicious attempt to disrupt normal traffic of a targeted server servers or network in this case BitConnect by overwhelming the target or its surrounding infrastructure with a flood of internet traffic DDoS attacks achieved effectiveness by utilizing Multiple comprised computer systems as sources of attack traffic. Exploited machines can include computers and other networked, networked resources such as IoT devices. From a high level, D, a DDoS attack is like a traffic jam clogging up with highway and preventing regular traffic from arriving at its desired destination. So a little illustration for you guys. What's supposedly going on <coughs> with BitConnect. Um, so you all, you guys can look it up. There's pretty common definition of a bunch of different sites. Um, but basically, hackers or whatever are flooding BitConnect with tons of traffic, um, bot bot traffic, and it's clogging up the servers. And um, basically, BitConnect have to shut down to handle that. Apparently, there's different types of DDoS attacks as well. Um, it gets pretty deep dies, guys, so, uh, you know, I would definitely, you know, look that up. You guys don't know what exactly it means, but, um, that's basically what's going on with BitConnect, supposedly. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, you know, BitConnect's going, coming back, at least for the U.S., you know, with Texas doing the cease and desist letter. And now, uh, recently, North Carolina. So we will see if they will come back. But as of right now, BitConnect is still down. Let me know what you guys think. If this is an XX scam, if this is it for BitConnect, or you think they will come back strong. Uh, I am rooting for BitConnect, you know, changing lots of lives. I'm recently, I've only been in for a month and a week or so. So I'm definitely late on the train for BitConnect. So I'm trying to ride out. You know, I'm trying to come up in BitConnect 2018, a uh, solid full year of BitConnect and giving you guys updates with it. So definitely we'll want it to come back um, and hopefully everything works out. In the meantime, you know, definitely slide in these altcoins. Like I said, Storica is still ICO phase. Um, like I said, I'm all in on Storica. Basically, gonna be the crypto Amazon, and um, it's gonna it's gonna be lit. So here's the back office of Storica again. Here's my referral link. I'll put that in the description as well. And um, you know, you guys look up information on Storica. It's it's lit. I'm basically, gonna have a e-commerce platform basically about to be crypto Alibaba crypto Amazon and um, I think this time next year Thorica is going to be very very lit so that's the, I, one of the ICOs I'm hopping in and um, I'll be doing more ICO talk this year because I think that is uh, one of the best ways for newbies to come up and then you know invest in more ICOs and then invest in all coins from there and then Bitcoins from there and I think ICOs is one of the best ways to come up as well as getting these cheap altcoins so you know definitely gonna be focusing on that um, definitely not feeling the lending platforms as much I uh, don't fully trust them you know they can just go down like this um, not the move not the move but um, definitely gonna ride it out as long as it, as long as it's up so Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> you guys have a good night. Stay up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I am dropping a song as well this Thursday. Shameless plug. Ah, I'll be dropping it on this channel. So you guys can enjoy that as well. And uh, you guys have a good night. Peace.